Good morning, Travis County, and welcome back to Recycle Upcycle. I'm Tamara Schubert, your Family Consumer Science Agent for NMSU and Travis County Cooperative Extension. We've been talking all month about the trash that ends up in our landfills. As a nation, Americans generate more tr waste and trash than any other nation in the world, and we have a big part to play. Reduction and reuse are the most effective ways we can save natural resources, protect the environment, and save a little on our budgets along the way. Week one, we looked at what we could do at the grocery store and turning milk jugs into storage containers. Week two, remember those clothes? We throw a lot of them into the, into the landfills. So we talked about how to change t-shirts into rugs. So this week, Plastics are one of the highest percentage of waste items that end up in our landfills. And they can take anywhere from 20 to 500 years to decompose, depending on the material. So we're gonna take, remember that shopping we buy in bulk, and this happens to be a cleaning container I had at home. Now these labels come off really easy. You put the bottle in hot water, it decomposes the paper liner on the outside of the label. Once that's off, you can use oil and baking soda and those little sticky parts will come right off. But we're gonna turn this into a storage container as well. It helps us to keep from having to buy plastic containers at the store, but it also gives us a way to recycle these items at home. So you will need a jug or container, whichever one you would like. You will need some scrap fabric. You can, I used a shirt. Remember those shirts that end up in the landfill? And then I used some ribbon that we had at home. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the top off of our container. Cause let's face it, putting stuff in these and getting them out is a little bit difficult with that small of a, of a container in front. So we're going to use our utility knife and we're just simply gonna cut the top right off and I just picked a line if yours has a line that's great because it makes it a handy dandy cutting point all right so we're gonna cut our top right off so that we have a big opening in which we're gonna be able to store items so on my material I cut a piece of material and it's only about eight inches long and then it's the width of my container the length of my container so I went ahead and put a seam going together um, so that it made a circle. So if you have a sewing machine, that's real easy. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can use a hot glue gun. It works the same way. We're gonna take this bottom part, we're gonna glue it right to the top edge of this container. So I'm gonna put mine on to make it a little bit easier, and then we're gonna go part way down and glue this to the top of the container. This is gonna be the way that our container can close back together. So we're just gonna put a thing of bead of hot glue. And remember, you can take those labels off. You can add other chalkboard labels if you want to so that you always know what's in the container. These containers work great. If you're into crafts, you can store your miscellaneous items in there. If you've got kids, they work great for toys or Legos, things like that that you may need to have some extra storage for. Again, it's a lot cheaper than going out and buying new plastic buckets every time. And it's a great way to reuse what would have been left in our landfills. So I'm almost done, I've got one more side. Finish up this edge on this side. On the top of my fabric, I made a one inch case, so I just folded it down and stitched it. Again, you can do that with hot glue. And I ran just a simple ribbon I had at home so that when you fill it with your toys, when you fill it with your craft items, all you have to do is pull that ribbon and it shuts. You can store it away in the cabinet. It makes it easy to get items in and out of. You guys, be careful what you shop for this week and see what you can reuse around the house. Have a good week.